The CPI name number came last week and the CPI, although the numbers were hotter than expected, but the core numbers apparently is going down. It's been third uh, reading that the core number is going down. So market was really afraid that, okay, now the Federal Reserve will start raising by 1% uh, in the next meeting, the interest rates, which impacts the financial market really bad. Good morning, everybody. Andrew is back. I was uh, away one week uh, in Spain, in Europe. Uh, so I flew to London. London, I took another flight to Bilbao, which is the northern Spain. And then I drove uh, toward Pico de Europe uh, National Park. Uh, it was a really, really amazing experience. Northern Europe is really not a touristy place. Uh, it's uh, mostly, you know, you know, locals travel around. But the villages, the food, the mountains, the national park was really amazing, and I'm glad I got out. I was with one of my friends. Uh, she was from Spain, so it was a really, really nice uh, uh, experience uh, in that. So, uh, and it's good to be with the local. So when you're traveling with the local, you know, you understand that because in Spain, most of the people don't speak English. So it was a really, really good time. Uh, anyways, uh, so yeah, so drove through Bilbao, went to uh, northern Spain and did a lot of running. It was really hot. Europe is a heat wave, but I managed to really have a good time. Uh, I didn't trade. I took all of my laptops and everything with me, but I really couldn't trade uh, because it's just I was just enjoying my time, you know, with good wine and great food and running. It's just I didn't want to really bother with trading. So and the CPI name number came last week and the CPI, although the numbers were hotter than expected, but the core numbers apparently is going down. It's been third uh, reading that the core number is going down. So market was really afraid that, okay, now the Federal Reserve will start raising by 1% uh, in the next meeting, the interest rates, which impacts the financial market really bad. Uh, but there are some comments from Feds that, no, we're not really th thinking about 1%. It's still 0.75% you know, interest rate is on the table. Bank of Canada, they just uh, rose interest rate by 1% and they crushed the housing market right now in Vancouver. So it's, it's impactful when you're really becoming aggressive. Uh, you know, it's really having an impact. Like the properties that, uh, you know, I have in, in Vancouver, you know, six months ago, they were going 1.92 million dollars and now they're 1.5, 1.4. So imagine, that's a huge drop. Imagine that you somebody bought that property and then you have to wait at least five, six hours until that to come back. So essentially all of your equity is wiping out. You know, a crazy, you know, bad decision about the COVID and, you know, irresponsible financial policy just puts these cycles very close to each other. And now people, eventually the media, uh, the average people have to, uh, pay for the price of uh, stupid uh, uh, political decisions that they did during this pandemic. Anyway, so the extra U.S. dollar is still getting strong, and that uh, essentially exports uh, inflation all the way to the market as well, uh, to the, the rest of the world as well. But the market was gapping up because, again, you know, people are afraid of Federal Reserve. It's all the, in their hands, and the interest rates are coming uh, as going up not as much as everyone was expecting so and this is the continuation the earnings season starts the banks are telling a lot about uh, you know the credit defaults the banks uh, is very very important the earnings of the banks it usually starts with the banks and for the next two weeks and then the tech companies are coming this morning when i come here i saw that everything is gapping up and the usual suspects for me was nvidia and uh, the NVIDIA was really strong at the open. I took a one minute opinion range break up, 162. Uh, for some reason, my quote was delayed. So I changed my quote and, uh, you know, it was a little bit of a messed up trade, but essentially a very nice one minute opinion range break up uh, from 163, go all the way up to 165. And where's my Epic pen? And then uh, there's another one, 165 to 168 when we did that. So that was a really, really nice uh, trade. Sorry, I'm just getting it uh, here, the Epic Pen. So yeah, so that was, uh, uh, not this one. Sorry about that. Yeah, so that's a one minute opinion range breakout that we had. That was one trade and then I added 165 for the next pop to 167. So that was a really, really uh, nice trade on that. And I made most of my money here on this trade. I added back again at 166 for a pop and uh, sold some, and but eventually got, Stop that! It never, never really did a 
923. There's some hot deed here. If you touch here, it did pop up. It did pop so like a 920 trade, but it wasn't really uh, crazy. Uh, <clears throat> then that was it. So what else I traded? I traded TQQ as well. So the NVDA and TQQ was day trade. It was a really good profit, 9,000 and 3,000. I had some position on SPXL and SSO that I sold off. So, uh, you know, these two uh, profit were actually swing trade, but let's see SSO, uh, NVDA and TQQ. TQQ was the same thing. Uh, you know, it's kind of a correlated market. TQQ, what I did was, uh, yeah, I went long for opening range breakup. You know dropped i got a stopped out after really held our tree came back up i went long at 27.50 26.60 all the way up to 28 and uh, that was uh, another trade that i did on tqq and that was it these two trades opening range breakouts for me it was fun i didn't get to trade twitter after the elon musk uh, build from twitter that was really fun looking forward to see what the earnings season i don't think we're going to have any trouble finding volatility this uh, the next two weeks i think it's going to be amazing um amc was apparently very nice jared was all over amc brian what did you trade uh, i traded um ba um and it uh just traded it at the open had a nice uh, ba broke out nicely at the open so got in at uh you know, around fifty-four and a half dollars, and then sort of just traded it up to. Uh, I think the last partial I had was fifty-five, one fifty-five eighty, and then uh, yeah, and then it pulled back, and I uh, I got along again uh, back at one fifty-four thirty, and then then got out again at one fifty-five. So um, yeah, overall BA was my uh, best trade. Other than that, um, I'm still uh, I'm still waiting for. For BAC, I've had a couple of Olive Garden trades on BAC, and uh, just still waiting for it to lose. Uh, go red on the day. I don't know if it's going to or not. Bank so, of America. Did yeah. you short it, Bank of America? Yeah, I shorted it. I shorted it kind of late. Um, I think some of the our traders in the room got it uh, a lot earlier when it kind of lost the view app. Um, I got into it a lot later, 32.70. Yeah, so, Bank of America, the earning. No, that pop was an earning pop. Yeah, Bank of America and Goldman Sachs reported this morning. We've got IBM reporting at the close today, but and, and uh, a bunch of other ones, obviously. But uh, yeah, we're getting into the thick of earnings season right now, so it's going to be interesting. Yeah, hundred percent. So if you go to tradingterminal.com, there's a calendar. You can click on the calendar, and then you can see the earnings. Uh, uh, so net so today uh, so before market and after so uh, before market open we already have Bank of America Charles Schwab and Goldman Sachs after market close we have IBM uh, what is the most important one there's nothing a few really. other ones yeah t t tomorrow is that Netflix it's going to be interesting to see Netflix tomorrow Netflix after the close. is yeah uh, Johnson and Netflix Johnson. is really yeah, yeah Netflix is going to be really interesting given the um, Given that you know the the massive drop that they had um, on the last earnings season, and uh, it'll be interesting to hear what they uh, have to say uh, this time around. Hundred percent. Tesla. We have Tesla on Wednesday. Uh, Tesla. We have on ten. Yeah. Uh, after the market close, so Thursday afternoon. Definitely Thursday afternoon. Go to Ed's room. Ed's gonna trade that for sure. I might actually stay trade that. Uh, we're gonna be really, really amazing. SML holding. I don't know much of these countries, companies, and uh, if you have a snap on Thursday, a snap usually tend to be very volatile. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we're gonna be. When is Apple? Apple is the leader. Oh, next week gonna be a Starbucks. Apple's not till. Yeah. Apple's Apple's not till the twenty eighth, I believe, July twenty eighth. Yeah. Uh, Thursday, so yeah, it's not right. till Mastercard uh, and Pfizer. So yeah, go to trading terminals, take a look at them. I mean, what we're going to add into the trading terminal is the expected move as well. So for those of you who want to play options on the earning, so you can have add these, uh, you know, having some uh, things on the pipeline, you know, with expected moves and everything, we're going to add it into that. So it can give you an idea for um, trading uh, options on them. Perfect. So I think that was a pretty good day, guys. Solid day for me. I'm just going to end at $27,000. Again, part of it was uh, not day trading, and I still have some of my position. That TNA called, uh, option got called, unfortunately, on me. So it got put on me. I have SPXL, a little bit of SSO as well, and a little bit of TQQ as well. So not a lot, though. I mean, mostly in cash, because this market is really you know, crazy. 
Have a good yeah. day, guys. So for those of you who are new trader guys, uh, make sure to come tonight to onboarding class. I know for the new people, it might be a little bit overwhelming. What's the all the lingos and you know all of the terminologies that we're using? But for those of you who are uh, you know very serious about that, come on Monday at 7 p.m. Carlos is going to go through uh, this, and we're going to talk about. Uh, uh, yeah, so how you can start your career path. Have a good day, guys, and uh, talk to you soon. Cheers.